seasons. Right coach, right place, right time. That's Marty Simmons. And his team, you talked about fatigue being a factor. It was just, what are we looking at? 16 hours ago, they were on this floor in a first-round victory over Drake. Mike Stewart will toss it up. And Wichita State will have the first crack. And see, we saw Evansville use a zone to beat Drake last night. They open man-to-man -man here. Now the key is going to be, as you mentioned, Egidius staying out of foul trouble and limiting dribble penetration. When Van Vliet gets in the gaps, he's got a couple of shooters in Cotton, Baker, and Anthony to kick it to. Van Vliet chooses to shoot the first shocker shot of Arch Madness. Evansville, when they lost the lead in Wichita, Muscata just got in foul trouble, and Wichita State got after Evansville's bench with pressure. The other thing with Evansville, they're one of the few teams who has out-rebounded the Shockers this year. They out-rebounded by two, but there's the pressure on the half-court side. Great ball denial by Van Vliet forces Evansville to call a timeout. Here's today's starting lineups, a presentation of Coventry Healthcare and Aetna Company. Visit CoventryHealthcare.com for more information. Health, wellness, Coventry Healthcare. This is a good young Evansville team. Mostly freshmen and sophomores. The coach's son, Blake Simmons, was all Valley freshman. And then Wichita State just has so many ways to beat you. They are the only team in the country that looks the scarier thing for fellow coaches in the Missouri Valley. The backcourt, Baker, Van Vliet, sophomores, the Cotton, Junior, they're all back. Carter in the middle will be back. And there's more recruits coming. They've already signed five. Well, the motion offense is going to be key. Movement without the basketball. Ballantyne, one of the best off the ball screen. Oh, excuse me, after the down screen. Let me ask you about their motion offense. That's the kind of shot that he hit in Wichita in the first half to give Evansville a 15-point lead. What's the key to Evansville's motion? The key is just constant movement and proper spacing. Making the defense chase you will be the telltale sign in the half court for Evansville. Baker so strong, and there's a foul as Simmons was trying to hang on to the talented Shocker All-Conference sophomore. You got some great matchups in the half court. That's a tough one for Simmons. Baker is a tremendous three-point shooter, but he's also quicker. So you're going to have to see if, if Simmons can keep him in front and challenge a jump shot. Baker missing on his first shot of the tournament. Really, it was this time a year ago. Baker came back from injury. He missed 21 games and then just turned it on in the NCAA tournament when the Shocks get all the way to, got all the way to the Final Four. Valentine, again using the screen. And a good job by Adam Wing to recover in transition for Evansville. One of the things that Marty Simmons talked about before the game was how quickly Wichita State gets down the floor. And the way you stop it is, number one, good shot on the offensive end every time, and then great defense conversion. Baker just powers by Simmons. And a follow up and in, Kadeem Colby. They've got a three-headed monster in the middle of that. Offense and defense, when you got Carter, Lou Field, and Colby, that is quite a group. And that is a testament to the teamwork of, the, of this team. Three different guys, all of them have started through the course of the year. They are so unselfish because they just want to play. And they are relentless rebounders. This time Simmons takes it after Baker and he walks. You mentioned Evansville actually out-rebounded Wichita State in Evansville. Now, listen to this. In the last 121 games, 121 games, Wichita State has been out-rebounded 16 times over three years. And Evansville did it in the Ford Center. And the key has been the development of Big E, E. Gideus, who had eight blocks, 19 and 10 in one of the two contests, foul trouble in the other. Early gets rid of wing and goes to the basket. Clay Anthony Early, a legendary performance last year during the NCAA run, including against Louisville in the finals, final four semifinal game.
But what a matchup. You've got the Valley's leading scorer in Valentine against the Valley's defensive MVP. Nice move by Agidius Moscovitis. That's what he did last night when he nearly had a triple-double against Drake. The lanky Lithuanian showing the up and under. Six double-doubles for him in the last eight games. Baker launches. Uh, you cannot go under the ball screen against Ron Baker. You know, as good a shooter as he is, he's shooting 41% from the three over the last five games, which is up. Quick shot by Gibson. Maybe a bad decision by the freshman. Early block by Moscovichus. He had eight blocks against Drake last night. He has had 28 blocks in the last 10 games for Marty Simmons. This is the development of the Gideus on the offensive end. A year ago, he would have been in a hurry. There, with the shot clock running down, he takes his time. But when you go under a ball screen with Ron Baker, it's a layup. Offensive foul, Clay Anthony Early. As the Purple Aces take the charge underneath. And here's the pressure of Wichita State full court. Evansville did not handle it really in the other place. Wichita State game, or was he in that game? And Evansville had 14 steals against the uh, Purple Aces. They forced 18 turnovers, and more importantly, they know how to convert 15 points off turnovers in the first half. And Cotton with quick hand and eats the passing lane up. And a held ball. Evansville will have the arrow. Already, these two teams getting after it. Wichita State looking for a 30-second win. They lead it by three. Yeah, I'm going to in about four-minute spans from media timeout to media timeout. When you have so many young guys who are playing in their first tournament, that's the only way you can play it. And right now, the pace through the first four minutes is actually favoring Evansville. And they've handled the pressure with the exception of the one steal. And again, Evansville played. The Shockers top at Coke Arena. Press break. Brown. And block. Shadrach Lufield knocks it away. His 27th block of the year. Love the aggressiveness by Brown, though. Don't settle for a jumper. Take it right at the big fella. Might have dumped it to Miscavige just had a better option, but still. Cotton stays guarding Ballantyne. What a great matchup that oh, is. The best is. defender against the best scorer in the league. Cotton is going to run about four miles chasing Ballantyne today. And he'll run a fifth if he needs to. Wow. What a shot by Ballantyne. Great defense by Cotton. Kept him in front, but Ballantyne. Ballantyne had 43 in a game earlier this year against Northern Iowa. One of the top performances all this season in America. And that's the other part of the game that Wichita State has added to Kale Cotton's offense, not just his defense. Well, we talk so much about what a great defensive player, maybe the best one in the country. But over the last five games, or excuse me, the last nine games, his three-point shooting, 43%. Miscavige is great on the slip. We saw him do it last night. This kid is growing up in front of our eyes. To, could be a really impact inside guy for the Aces for the next several years. He's got to stay down here defensively. But Lou Field, Wichita State just eats the glass on the boards. And you get Lou Field and Carter in there together, man. It's almost unfair. Moscovich has got to have help on the boards. Trademark of Wichita State under Greg Marshall. Make the extra pass. Baker passes up a shot. Van Vliet. And then Cotton delivers. Watch this. Everybody looking at Valentine. You turn your back as Lufield did. You get an easy win for Igidius. Got to see ball. Got to see man. Lufield 66, 62% at the line. The Shockers do, said they do everything right. They also lead the conference in free throw shooting percentage. Closed captioning for today's game made possible by Emerson. The global technology and engineering company. To learn more, visit Emerson.com. Emerson, consider it solved. Lufield's had his moments, a double-double against Indiana State. 
at home, the number two team in this league this year. Mitch, this is the third different full court pressure Wichita has shown you. This time it's just Dan Bleat, full court. Valentine again. And good defense by Cotton. Muscles up on Valentine. Good pivot underneath. Muscovich just did not want to foul, and Lufield's got four straight points for the Shockers. Unbelievable job of creating space by Van Vliet. And Cotton again in that passing lane. The average person doesn't realize, Mitch, just how hard you have to work to average 20 points. What DJ Ballantyne does game in, game out is phenomenal. But on the other end, let's take a look at what Van Vliet does. You're a young point guard. It's about creating space to give yourself a passing angle into the post. Van Vliet back dribbles to create that space. Basketball IQ off the chart. He's so good defensively, and yet Valentine will not back down. Again, running off all those rubs. Boom! What a shot by Valentine. A deep oh, three. This, this is like a heavyweight prize fight. <laughs> Evansville does not shoot threes in volume. In fact, one half of the threes made this year by Evansville are from Valentine. But Lufield making his presence felt. One of the best rebounding teams in the nation at Wichita State, and they have been for the last four to five years. And Moscovicius goes for the block. Nobody box out, boxes out the field in rotation. Shocker's number one offensive rebounding team in the Valley by far. 12 offensive boards a game. Valentine tries it again. That's 10 early for Valentine. This is what he did in Wichita. And, and Mitch, I got to tell you, Takeo Cotton has played tremendous defense the last three baskets that Valentine has had, but that's what Valentine does. He gets on a roll. He gets you off the curl, and then he backs out to the three. And he had 26 in Wichita, 14 of those in the first half. Then they put Baker on him and moved it around. Wiggins missing. And stepping out of bounds after pick, poking it loose, Jalen Brown. How good is this? How deep is this? He just eyes it up coming off that screen, backs him down, drills it. Evansville down two. At Indiana, Steve Alford was tremendous. Colt Ryan in his four years at Evansville. D.J. Ballantyne moves without the basketball as well as anybody, maybe the number one person without the ball in the country. But I want to ask you, we talked about this somewhat last night. Not a lot of teams run motion anymore. A lot of ball screen action either side or top ball screens. So when you see the motion, you used to see it a lot. You don't, how difficult is it to adjust to it? Well, it's a different game preparation. Plus, when you don't run it as your offensive set, you don't work against it in practice. So you're not used to it. And I, I think that's the key. And Marty Simmons is one of the best teachers of the motion offense in college basketball. Well, the bigs of Wichita State so far have been the difference. But Carter missing there. And Evansville gets a precious rebound. Now Baker's on Valentine. Baker stays right with him without fouling using that strength. And it's not like Takeo Cotton's the only defender that they can put on him. That's <laughs> now Ron Baker at one point in the season led the team in block shots. Moscovich is his second block, his 10th of the tournament. Here's a bigger number for him. He's gone almost 10 minutes, has not picked up a foul. Bodes well for the Purple Aces. This fatigue set in, though. They, only, they played on this floor like 16 hours ago. They got the rest of the year to relax and rest up. Miscavish just wants to play another day. He's been so good inside on the offensive end. And on the defensive end, he deflects that one from Baker. 
tied at 16. The 31-0 Shockers being tested early here in St. Louis by a pesky Evansville team. Big number for Evansville on the offensive end. Only one turnover, and it did not lead to points. Now a left shoulder turn. A right shoulder turn with... And Miscavige is how good are his feet. When you recruit big players, you look at two things. How good are your feet? How good are your hands? That's a tough catch in, in traffic. Able to catch and convert. How much has he improved over a year ago? Uh, light years. Light years. And, you know, it started on the defensive end. He got confidence on the defensive end, blocking shots, and now it is carried over to him on the offensive end. Number one in the Valley in field goal shooting percentage. And yet Wichita State is relentless. They just keep the pressure on you all day. Back, Valentine, another deep three. He might have tested his range there in a hustle play by Jalen Brown of the Purple Aces. Marty Simmons trying to buy some time with Gideus on the bench. They're going to have to get a good effort out of Moore. Jalen Moore, you see Marty Simmons trying to manage this time. He's got a media timeout coming up in less than two minutes. Cotton back on Valentine. Great defense, Kadeem Colby. Caught second three of the game. So many weapons. Got a lot of different arrows in the quiver for Greg Marshall. Cotton. He had four threes against Northern Iowa. 21 against Drake the other night at Coke Arena. Now who else can help Moscovichus and Valentine with this Evansville team offensively? The young man with the ball, Blake Simmons, the coach's son. He's got to get on track. He had some great looks yesterday. Wasn't able to knock him down. And a foul, I believe, on Takeo Cotton. Kip Kessinger will make the call against the defensive MVP of the Valley. You want the definition of play angry? There it is right there. It's swarming defense. And then Cotton. Nothing but net. And not Cotton on the foul, but Ron Baker. But how, how difficult is it for Cotton, who has to play Wiley Coyote chasing the roadrunner, and then in the offensive end be effective? Uh, terrific athlete. Great. Excellent baseline out of bounds play. Well diagrammed, well executed. And a bonus two from Jalen Moore. Baker airballs it. for Jalen Brown. We saw his athleticism last night. Evansville has the lead at 20 to 19. The question for this Purple Aces team is who is going to step up? Who is going to play above their numbers? The guy who's very capable is Jalen Brown. Well, Marty Simmons has weathered the storm of resting Miscavichus and has a one-point lead. Early, found on the shot and counted. There, guys, are freshmen and sophomores. Loyola's best player, Milton Doyle, is a freshman. The future is bright for the Missouri Valley. Anthony Bean Jr. at Southern Illinois. Sophomore came on late early to try to get a three point play. Clay Anthony, second in the league in foul shooting at 85%. And a three point play for Wichita State. Wingus goes, takes it all the way to the glass. Moscovichus rested. Good effort by the big fellow, but needed to gather himself. He rushed that one a little bit. 
when the Shockers turn it over. They don't do it much. They're number one in the league in turnover margin. You know, Mitch, the question for Evansville coming in, would they be a little intimidated? Would they show some fear? Because they're, they're a young team. They're freshmen and sophomores. But maybe they just don't understand the magnitude of it because they're playing with no fear whatsoever. You know, I think it's really Marty Simmons in preparing this team mentally. I don't think they have any fear, particularly why they played him in Wichita. Gibson, and he gets one to roll in. Freshman Dwayne Gibson, top recruit out of Cleveland. What a great get for Marty Simmons. St. Joe's High School, coached by Babe Kwasniak, won a state title. Young man who knows what winning is all about. Great job by Cotton to refuse the screen. And Cotton's got eight. That's what Wichita State does so well. They know who the hot guy is. They get him the basketball. That's unselfish basketball. But any one of these guys can get hot. That's the thing about these, these shockers. You talk about like Clay Anthony early. He could average 20 plus. As yeah, much as Egidius needed to gather himself. Take your time. Get himself in a hurry. Cotton waits for it on the backside with eight first half points to lead the shots. Baker in rhythm. He had a career high, 26 against Evansville at the Ford Center on the river. Find a way to make your teammate play to his strength. Tequil Cotton drives, freezes the defense. Baker, feet set, and a steal. Baker! High straight timeout, Marty Simmons. Wichita State leads by eight. Their biggest lead of the first half. Teamwork with a capital T. And Michael Ignores. <laughs> Maybe the Nat sound of Mike Stewart explaining it gave it to our audience. Uh, question about a foul, but they went to review it. Said there was just a basketball play. Play on. Now Evansville has to work uphill, really, for the first time this afternoon. Wessel on Valentine. Keep throwing fresh bodies at Valentine. Third different defender on him thus far. Van Vliet with the strip. And oh, by the way, Fred Van Vliet on the all-defensive team of the Valley. <laughs> when you play both ends and quick hands, you can take hubcaps off a moving car. It's like a magician, though, at Vegas. <laughs> Great hands. Van Vliet, again, the Larry Bird player of the year. Valentine still has his legs. 13 points for Valentine. Three threes in the first half for the Purple Aces star. Well, Valentine is... Refreshed. He played all 40 minutes yesterday. And he's like, Coach, you're giving me a whole minute to sit out? But yeah. yesterday was last night, see? That's true. I mean, you're turning. You played at 6 o'clock last night. You're playing noon today against the number two team in the country. They come out and change to his own defense, trying to match up with shooters on the perimeter, keep the ball out of the inside. This is what worked, and Van Vliet slices the zone. And a bonus bucket for the shots. Russell only gets one a game, but the scholar athlete throws in two. And a careless pass. Early. Count the basket. Turnovers right now bothering Evansville. This is why Wichita State, in my mind, is the best team in the country. They come at you in waves. Wessel already with four. And then they convert steals to points better than any team in the country. They did it against Evansville in the game at Evansville. 
early with the three point play. A reminder at halftime, we'll have our report. Present, uh, presentation of State Farm for Auto Home Life and Banking. Get to a better state. Scott Warman will get you caught up on what's going to happen throughout the rest of the day. And we'll also hear from Tom Ackerman and the coaches. But right back to it. What's a 10 point lead now? This is the biggest lead on a 12 3 run for Wichita State. Gain your composure time for everything. Run your offense, keep the ball moving, keep the people moving, and get a good look. Wow, tough against Baker. We saw him do that last night. He's got the ability athletically and the strength to create a play like that. Huge basket for Evansville. At that point, Evansville looked like they were pressing a little bit on the offensive end. And here's the Purple Aces zone. Got to communicate. You got to know where your shooters are. Know where Baker is. Ben Bleak sees the entire arena. 360 degree vision. And he read it. The zone started to shift out towards Baker. Opened it up for the field. First and assist. He gets five a game. And now it's turnover. Gibson struggling at the point. Van Vliet with the ankle breaker. And that, ladies and gentlemen, in that sequence is why Fred Van Vliet is the Larry Bird player of the year in the Valley. Phenomenal. Assist. Scores. Five-star general, Fred Van Vliet. Emerson is excited to be the proud presenting partner for this year's award. Visit NBCSports.com to learn more. Emerson, consider it solved. And yes, the Larry Bird Player of the Year, Fred Van Vliet. Only two points, but don't be tricked by that. The last two minutes of sequence shows you why he is the best point guard in the nation. He shifts the zone with his eyes, finds a man inside, the field delivers, and then in transition, chance for a three-point play. And he's 84% at the line. Off Carter. Van Vliet doesn't miss him much. And he's been perfect several times. That's his first miss this season against Evansville in the two regular season games. He was 12 out of 12 at the line. Marty Simmons is kind of that SMH. He's thinking, man, shaking my head. It goes, we're down 12. Now he's got a problem. But the pressure for Wichita State is paralyzing Evansville right now. Five seconds, and now Van Vliet's defense does it. And that's a perfect example. What happens when you get pressured is you start to stand, you start to watch. And one of the ways that you beat pressure is take the ball on the dribble right to the goal. And we saw Jalen Brown do that a little earlier. Dwayne Gibson's must do the same thing to get the defender off him. Six turnovers for Evansville in the first half. When you think about it, Mitch, they go the first 13 minutes with only two turnovers. The last four and a half minutes, they have five turnovers. It's what doomed them in their upset efforts in Evansville. Wichita State outscored them 23 to 2 points off turnovers. his own the last couple of minutes and Evansville dodges a dart important sequence got to get Valentine back into it if you're Evansville you just need to get a shot Evansville four turnovers in the last six possessions Simmons has yet to score the coach's side he scored a lot Scott, just another block, and now they're going to call a foul, so no block. Mike Stewart calls the foul on Aguinius Muscovich, and Marty Simmons is not so sure. Uh, solid de defense by Aguinius, but we're going to take a look and see if he got a little piece of the hand on the shot at the end. 
Or give Carter credit. May have touched may, it. May have, may have braced his hand at the very end. But Gideon Wiscovicius. 19 points, 10 rebounds, 8 blocks last night in a first round victory over Drake. And keep your eye on this guy in the years to come. Space to four, move without. This is the first time Ballantyne is going to the line in the game, and it's such a key for Evansville. They've got to get him to the line. Now he hit a couple of early threes, and sometimes when you make early three-point shots, you, you tend to settle. Ballantyne knows that he's got to get to the free-throw line if Evansville has a chance to stay in it. Ballantyne, top five in the nation. Rich in free throw attempts. But 25 in a game against Illinois State. And his makes now 213 makes this season. He's closing in on the all-time Evansville record that was set in 1965. You think about him a year ago. Wasn't quite as strong, wasn't able to absorb the contact this year, the additional strength. He's able to take it inside and draw the foul. You mentioned that, but you know who else is in that category? Is Van Vliet. He only played nine minutes last year in the finals of this tournament. He didn't get to play much. I mean, this year he's turned into one of the nation's best, the nation's best point guard. But he was it. He plays nine minutes in the finals last year in this tournament. Well, I love the self-deprecating humor by Greg Marshall at the banquet. The coach of the year said, how smart am I? He only played him nine minutes, and he comes up with quick hands and a steal. Early. And a foul on Evansville. Hey, when the Valley Television Network takes its cameras on the road, it considers these properties the home away from home. They are terrific supporters of the network. Please call or visit the websites of these properties and making plans to follow your favorite team away from home. A lot of you have used sports teams, vacations during the spring and summer. They have been a respite for us all year long throughout the Valley footprint with some tough travel, let's be honest. Talking about tough travel, we Anthony early all the way from New York to Wichita. And I can't say enough about this young man and what Greg Marshall has got gotten him to buy into. He's the preseason player of the year. He was the player of the year in junior college. He could go out and average 25 a night if he wanted to, but he has bought into the team concept and Wichita State has set records because of Greg Marshall's ability to get him to buy in and his willingness to buy in as well. It's been a first half clinic by Wichita State. Valentine, though, has put on a clinic of his own, Z. 17 points in the first half for DJ Valentine. And a steal. There's still time for Blake Simmons to score here. Oh, and Early sends it to the band. I don't know if that's good or bad. That's a great block by Early, but here's what I mean. After we take another look at this Early, he's eyeing it from half court, timing his jump, putting it in row Z. But now Evansville has a chance maybe to get Ballantyne off the screen and a chance for a three-point shot. So we'll see if it works out. Ballantyne, incredible condition and now three just rolls off but what a half by dj valentine but ladies and gentlemen yes wichita state is that good what a great half for the shockers number two in the country looking for a 32nd consecutive win marty simmons team has fought and yet wichita state leads by 10 points at intermission now let's check in with the Valley Coach of the Year, Greg Marshall, with Tom Ackerman in our St. Charles Convention and Visitors Bureau plans for the second half. Mitch, thank you. Coach, what were you able to do to pull away from them in the basket or moving the basketball? Arch Madness, Doug Elgin. It was his brainchild to set up a neutral site postseason conference tournament. Rich Zavosik, this is one of the best in the country. Mitch Holtis with you along with Coach Z. Wichita State has never won Arch Madness, but 
We don't have to remind him of that. One of the last boxes that Greg Marshall is trying to check. I've been looking for a word on Wichita State to describe it. There's, there's a tremendous vocabulary, teamwork, unselfish. But I really think it's resolve. They play with a, a sense of, of resolve. And what I mean by that is, perfect example, Cotton going to the offensive glass. Scavich just though gets the rebound and they just give a layup thrill to Dwayne Gibson. That's like a layup line for Evansville. It's the key. How do you beat pressure? You attack it off the dribble by getting to the rim. Scavich just with defense at the basket. And Kit Kessinger has it going to Evansville. You just rarely get easy baskets against Wichita State. And Gibson just beat everybody down the floor with the dribble. Gideus did a very good job not only changing the shot, but not drawing the second foul. Key that he stays out of foul trouble early in the second half. Wayne trying to find Ballantyne. Instead, he's got Gibson. Did Evansville? Now they're going to call a foul here. A foul on Clay Anthony early of the Shockers. Mitch, this is teamwork. Watch the help come from the big guy. Look at Van Vliet. He takes away Egidius. Unbelievable play. He does everything. I mean, you hear that. The There's little things. The ISO, Moscovich is inside. Now Wayne trying to get a stick back. Baker again using that strength. He's got an and one. Taking it down the alley. During Arch Madness, visit the Valley Fan Hangout. Presented by Frontier Communications and delivered by the St. Louis Post-Dispatch. The Valley Fan Hangout is located at the Sheridan St. Louis City Center. Just steps away from Scott Trade Center. Perfect gathering place during the tournament weekend. For more additional information, go to archmadness.com slash fans. And Baker gets a three-point play. He's got 11 for the game. And Valentine freed up for a three. 20 if you're keeping track. That's 50 tournament points for D.J. Valentine. There's only one guy on the Purple A squad that I would like to shoot that three off the press breaker. Valentine feeling it. Van Vliet wide open. And created the space. No anxiety. The, the demeanor, the coolness in which he plays. Big time recruit for them out of Rockford, Illinois in his sophomore year. And here's the other sophomore that has captured the accolades of the league. Bad decision underneath. And Valentine picks up the foul. Two of the best right here, back to back. Dangerous move against Press is to settle for the jump shot. But when you're the leading scorer in the conference, you take it. And then Van Vliet. Everybody is guarded. Nobody picks him up. Okay. I'll make a jump shot. The complete package. You see points per possession. This is something I talked about throughout the year with Greg Marshall at 1.353. Wichita State and Louisville are the only two teams in the country, point per possession offense and defense, that are in the top 12. I'm sorry, top 14. Wichita State offensively, Rich, 12th offense point per possession, 14th defense. I mean, back, turn that around, 12 and 14. Still, only Louisville, third and one, and fifth and the other, top 14 in both. That comes from a combination of two things. Number one, a well-defined, def devised offensive scheme. Greg Marshall has it. His players execute Cotton, shot he's been making for the last month. Cotton's got 11 points. Van Vliet's eyes are on a swivel, 360 degrees. 13-point lead for Wichita State, the biggest lead of the game. 
Simmons finds wing is blocked. Colby is 32nd block of the season. And Muscovich is claiming the board for Evansville. That is his sixth rebound of the game. And he'll just shoot one bad decision. He made that last night. This is a pace that Evansville cannot be successful at. Fred Van Vliet is hurt. Appears to be okay. Looks like he's it's an offensive foul on which they'll stay. But let's see what happened here in this exchange. Man, that that you may have back. gotten the uh, wind knocked out of him. Well, he went down hard on his back. And he's also trying to move his jaw around here a little bit. Clean Anthony Early's picked up his third foul. help underneath defensively that trio of defenders and post players Carter, Lufield and Colby making their presence felt at the buzzer for the win and the freshman and newcomer of the year in the valley Van Vliet appears to be okay on the floor for the Shockers and Evansville shows a little zone and Shadrach Lufield, maybe some fatigue from Moscovichus, and a great ball fake by Lufield. The strength of Lufield to get Gideus up in the air and then power it through. Spend some time in a weight room, you make him three point plays. One of the most exciting things to watch for Wichita State is the rebounding drill at practice. Carter, Lufield, and Colby, it's physics. To sit there and have scientists study that. Well, and I'll go back to the play with Van Vliet diving on the floor. When your best player doesn't hesitate to dive on the floor, everybody else is going to do it. It's contagious. He sets the tone. And Wichita State has got Evansville at the edge of the plank. But Valentine has been the hero trying to get him back with 20 of the 36 points for Evansville. Good up and under by Simmons. And Van Vliet's going to the line. Mark Whitehead, he's got a foul. It'll go against David Howard of the Purple Aces. And Van Vliet at the line. You go down his resume. That's, he's 0 for 2 at the line today, and that's crazy. He's 84% for the year, but first in assists in the league, third in steals, first in assists to turnover, the all-defensive team. Fourth in three-point shooting percentage. And how much of the 16-point margin is directly attributed to Fred Van Vliet? In one way or another, you think about Greg Marshall's time at Wichita State. Each point guard he has had has been a little bit better than the previous one. Levin Hanna, then you get Joe Raglan, Malcolm Armstead last year, and Van Vliet, arguably the best of the four. Which is why Wichita State is 117 and 23 in the last four years. Greg Marshall and his staff is not Mr. Recruiting Period. They have recruited consistently, year in, year out, recruiting period to recruiting period. And it's about evaluation. They don't miss. When you go four straight point guards who are all league players, that means you're a great evaluator. Credit to Chris Jans and 
Steve Forbes on his staff. Van Vliet, a three and one. What else can this guy do? Mitch, I think he got his back completely stretched out. <laughs> but unbelievable. The concentration, eyes on the rim. No defender could stop it. And the foul, I believe, is on Jalen Brown. Or did they switch it? And that's his fourth foul. Van Vliet gets 12 points a game. But you get the sense if he wanted to or he was asked to, he could get 20 points a game. Well, that's the key with this team. Take any one of them, Cotton, Early, Baker. They could all average 20-plus. But they sacrificed for the better of the team. And all of a sudden, it is a 21-point game after Evansville was giving them all they wanted. And yet, Wichita State is now one arch madness. Why is it so tough to win in this tournament for them? Or any team? He's playing three games in a row. Sometimes as the underdog, but over the last couple of years, they've had the bullseye on their back. They've handled that all year long. Evansville, how tough is it to win back to back? You mentioned that three and three days. This is they played last night at six. They playing at noon today. And look at the uh, minutes. Well, you're talking about young guys too. You're talking about freshmen and sophomores playing the bulk of the minutes. And yeah, the Shockers turn it over here. One thing though, Mitch. Regardless of how the rest of this game goes, last night's win for Evansville was huge for the future. Yeah, because just like Wichita State took their NCAA run into confidence into this year, last night's win will help these young guys at Evansville. Everybody's back. Hey, Evansville's had some good teams, but prior to last night, Z, they were 5-19 and 19 in Arch Madness. And with, you mentioned the young core of this team to take that win. Next year when they show up here, it's a whole different feeling, isn't it? Absolutely. It, it's not about hoping you can win. It's, it's the belief that you can win. Jalen Moore fouls Darius Carter. LeBron James' cousin. Darius Carter out of Akron, played at Vincennes Community College. And the blocks just keep coming. You know, number one block, shot blocker in the league is freshman Reggie Lynch at Illinois State. You'll see him in the next game. But if you add up Carter and Lufiel and Colby, the three-headed monster, add it up, they've got more than anybody else. And they're number one in the league as a team in block shots. They get five a game. Greg Marshall over the year talked about, we're going to play post by committee. Well, I think it's a pretty good steering committee in the, point, in the paint. To back it up, last night, Moscovich is eight blocks for Evansville as a, by himself. In this game, Wichita State has nine as a team, and there's a tenth, but a foul is going to wipe it out. And it's why they can play anybody, anywhere, any place. They've got enough impact inside guys to go with their outstanding perimeter, which stacks up against anybody in the country. When we talk about how good are their perimeter defenders. Takeo Cotton, in, in my book, is the best perimeter defender in the country. Forget about the Missouri Valley Conference. He can shut down anybody. And Ron Baker, a tremendous athlete, great defender. Van Vliet is no slouch. But once you get by them, you have guys who can protect the rim. You know, and fouls don't matter. Carter's got five to give. Lufield's got five to give. So does Colby. So you can go after block shots. Nice pass. Wessel, he'll go to the line. He had two in the first half. 
Mitch, Mitch, one of the things that is, is tough when a team is facing the pressure of a long winning streak is how do you motivate the guys, especially when you're playing a team you've already beaten? Greg Marshall, each number has been something different. And there you saw a sign of, of a hand. Their 27th win against Evansville was about the 27 bones in your hand. And you can see when it's flat out like that, easily breakable. But when you bring it into a fist, play as a team, tough to break, tough to beat. Had some great numbers throughout the course of the year. Keeping your guys focused when you've already beaten a team is one of the toughest challenges for a coach. And one of my favorites might be win number 29. It was the B-29 bomber, which was built in Wichita for World War II. A tremendous story, and it hits home. When you start breaking it down to metacarpals, <laughs> does he think of all those? I smell Chris Jans and some of that. Does Chris Jans think of some of that on his stand? Well, I, I'd say he, a couple of numbers I, I wondered about. Number 19 was for Johnny Unitas. I'm not sure any of these players knew Johnny Unitas, but he was an idol of Greg Marshall growing up and certainly a tremendous player. But maybe the best one might have been number 31, which on game 31 was chosen Ron Baker. And this, it, what it signified was giving up his number for the entire team. And that's really what Wichita State has done this entire year. They have sacrificed for each other to achieve things that many people didn't think were possible. So this is win 32 if they hang on. What do you got for 33? Wow. 33, that's maybe Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I don't know. Maybe he play in Wichita at one point. I'm not sure, but they'll think of something. Well, the key is now they're in tournament play. He doesn't have to think about numbers. The motivation is enough. Well, let me give you a number if they do get 33 and they're headed that way. It'll be 32, I should say. Only two teams in the history of college basketball will have been better. The 1991 34-0 Larry Johnson UNLV Rebels. Lost to Duke in the finals. And Larry Bird and the 33-0 Indiana State Sycamores in this conference went all the way to the finals, lost in some think the greatest finals of all time, and he lost to Magic Johnson. As Baker gets the roll, he's got 14. But you're talking some rarefied air, buddy. You're at the top of Mount Kilimanjaro when you put a 32-0 and up there. Are you talking about teams that have either won national championships or have played for national championships? And, of course, we know they lose last year in the Final Four to Louisville, but they're playing right now with the ability to go back to that second straight Final Four. They had Louisville beat. It's not like Louisville ran out of the building. I mean, they had a, Wichita State had an excellent chance to beat the Louisville Cardinals. Well, Wichita State took a close first half game, and they are running away now. It's what they do. To back, and one year, Maury John shared it. So first time in 107 years that one man has won it back to back to back by himself. Shocker struggling at the line. It's the only thing they've got a problem with right now. They missed five straight free throws. against Baker creates the separation 23 for the phenomenal DJ Valentine it drives him back and now Evansville back in the zone and if you're Wichita State you have a chance to play a lot of guys today rest up well, that's the other thing about getting a blowout win in the quarters is it's a quick turnaround too playing tomorrow afternoon in the semis. That Illinois State-Missouri State game will follow. Missouri State had Wichita State down 19 in the game in Springfield. Let's go to Tom Ackerman.
Mitch, Greg Marshall told a story recently that talks about the closeness of this team. Sports Illustrated approached him a few days ago and wanted to do another cover photo. They told him to pick one player. He said, I don't play favorites, so he took four players with him, Baker, Van Vliet, Early, and Cotton. He had them draw straws. The short straw gets the photo shoot. And right as they're about to do it, they all started laughing and they said, you know what, coach, we've had so much hype. We want to Kale to get the recognition for what he's done, the defensive player of the year. Marshall says that's just part of the unselfishness of this team. Well, Nick Wiggins gets the dunk. His first two of the game. Out of the famous Wiggins family. It all starts with Ron Baker getting on the floor and Van Vliet keeping his head up for Wiggins on the finish. And this has turned into a 22 point game. And if you watch the first half, you're going, really? Because Evansville was all over these guys, giving them a real challenge. Greg Marshall hit it right on the head. The last five minutes of that first half, they started getting all the loose balls. It's continued here in the second half, and consequently the big lead. It's one of Evansville's best plays. Valentine gets attention, and Miscavige is talented enough to get the slip. Well, the strong curl, and he's got his first two of the second half. This could be a really fun team next year to watch. By that time, Gideas took his time, caught it, got himself on, on balance, able to finish, gives himself a chance for a three-point play. But if he makes the progress he made from year one to year two, look out. He could be a player of the year candidate year three. Really? He needs to become that consistent double-figure score inside that they don't have. That, quite frankly, they really have never had over the last five or six years. You know, you talk about Colt Ryan who scores over 2,000 points. They had the perimeter guys. There's nobody in the paint. Colby, easy layup, nice feed. But back to Moscovich, he kind of did that. He's had six double-doubles in his last eight games prior to this one. They gotta find a guy though at that four spot to take some pressure off him too. And it's him against the world when you play Wichita State and all of the guys that go up there and eat the rim and the glass. Well, you know, you, you look at a guy like Jalen Moore, who has shown some flashes this year. Can he take that next step as a senior? Don't forget they, they have a, a transfer from Villanova sitting out. Another foreign gentleman that Mislav Grozoza. Now that's I'm sure I'm sure I butchered his name. I apologize to him and his parents. But Marty Simmons is very high on him. So you've got some good pieces that are coming back. Here's a stat that boggled my mind. A hundred percent of their three point field goals this year were made by freshmen and sophomores. There's no team, no other team in the country that can make that statement. So it's kind of the theme of the league. In fact, a three-point field goal percentage in the league, eight of the top ten in the conference this year were non-seniors. Valentine is hurt. He is limping around now. He made the free throws, so he's got 25 points. I'm sure why see, he's hurt. Doesn't, looks like he's got a cramp, and I'm not sure why the official doesn't hold it up. Are you surprised he's got a cramp? He's number one in the league in minutes played. And back to back. There's now Wichita State just getting every offensive rebound and stick back. But now they see it here. Valentine needs to come out. And his appears his right calf might be cramping up here. But of all the stats, Valentine has third and assist, leading score, fifth and assist to turnover, number one in minutes played. This kid is in terrific condition. Seventh block shot for Wichita State as a team. Waves. Shocker waves. Easy. Oh, Colby tried to dunk it. Mitch, watch DJ Ballantyne as he walks off the floor. And watch what Tequil Cotton does. He's battled them all game long. And he give, gives them a little tap. Shows a little respect. That's a great kid, Tequil Cotton. Recognizing... A fellow warrior. 
But Z, I seen it. I see it that in this league all the time. I told the story yesterday. Seth Tuttle, who's been so good, you're going to see him later for Northern Iowa, another emerging star in this league. They beat Jake Odom at Indiana State on senior night, or senior day at Indiana State. And he was lurking around the corner only to give applause to Jake Odom for an incredible four-year career. You don't see that in every league. No, you don't. There, there is a, a certain level of respect that all of the players have for each other. And it's, it's really, it starts at the top. It starts with the tone set by the conference commissioner, Doug Elgin, and filters down to the athletic directors, and the coaches as well. I mean, they understand you, you compete as hard as you can, but when it's over, you respect your opponent. 11 block shots for Wichita State at 8.47 to go. Six by Kadeem Colby. So he's working on the record that Muscovich has set last night. And Blake Simmons will go to the line and a foul on Wichita State on Van Bleet. They need an air raid siren to go off for Evansville, and they get with him at five feet of the basket. There needs to be a red lamp like the St. Louis Blues have in here because there's like three shockers that are within striking distance to send it to the Evansville dance team. When, when you go into the paint against Wichita, it's not for the faint of heart. You better come in strong or it's coming back at you. And Colby with the six blocks. It's a nice hand from the cloud here. Blake Simmons, three points all at the line. Be interesting to see how the coach's son Simmons develops too in the offseason. Uh, leading true freshman scorer in the conference, averaging almost 10 points a game. Has struggled in this tournament in these two games, but he's got a big future. But it's a ninth rebound to go with his nine points. And he's closing in on another double-double. Love the aggressiveness of Jalen Brown. And he comes off the bench, gives them an energy boost. And all day long today, he's taking it right to the rim. He's been better at the line, only 53%. But he's up seven percentage points in the last month. But I've, need, I've seen enough of his athleticism to know that he's got some upside. Van Bleet goes to the bench, figuring out 25 other ways to help his team win. When a team gets an offensive rebound against Wichita State, it's like they take it as an insult. I think it's like, how dare you? Evansville actually has done a good job on the glass. They've battled them even thus far. They actually had 11 offensive rebounds of their own. There's more. The guy you mentioned that's got to make strides for next year. And yes, they out-rebounded Wichita State and Evansville. And again, the amazing part about that, Wichita State's only been out-rebounded 16 times in three years. Seven rebounds for Muscovich. Looking for a different somebody to cut with Valentine not on the floor as the, the flow slows down. Baker sets up his body. It's like they can make a DVD how to turn defense into points. Best team in the country. Moscovich's double-double, number seven in the last nine games. 11 points, 10 rebounds for the Lithuanian. Mitch, that's a new one. I have not seen him complete that play this year. We're talking about a guy, again, who just continues to grow. And when you're that big and that active and mobile, you got a chance. And Wiggins gets pushed. 
But this team plays well. They lead the league in almost every statistical category, and they are, yes, very unselfish. It's close until Ved Fred Van Vliet, and he's still limping around a little bit. I wonder if that back will tighten up. They'll give him treatments, but he'll have more rest than anybody else because the rest of the league's got to tee it up throughout the day and night. Most important person in the shocker program over the next 24 hours is a trainer. trainer they usually are the most important nick wiggins and if you haven't seen wichita state a lot yes shocker fans get tired of hearing it but he is the brother of andrew wiggins probably the number one pick in the upcoming nba draft and the outstanding freshman at kansas and the two are not even the best athlete in the family the mother is probably, well, one of the top Canadian Olympic athletes of all time. North of the border. Mitch, it's good to see DJ Ballantyne back in the game. Worked out his cramp. He's okay. Baker's wanting to get another steal. But they're so solid defensively, too. They rarely make defensive mistakes. Mitch, I got to tell you, the, the motto is play angry. But they look like they're having such great fun out there. Yeah. You know, they just play hard. I mean, angry is just another synonym for playing hard. Simmons knows that's going to get blocked if he takes it up. Wichita State working on a dozen blocks in this game as a team. John Baker playing the point with Van Vliet on the, on the bench. I know he's one of your favorites simply because I know you love guys who played football. Yep. Guys who love a quarterback at Scott City. Great, Great small school program in Kansas. And yes, I can tell him, Z, a mile away. I can tell the guys who played high school football that play college basketball. There's a certain toughness about it. Yes, there is. And we're running out of them because everybody's specializing. And I'm telling you, I'd make half these guys play high school football. Baker was a stud in high school football. I think it helps their overall game athletically. And we talked about it earlier. He, at one point, actually led the team in block shots. That's your off guard. You see, he could have played Division I football as well. And he's sitting in the middle of that zone now. Love it. I think he's an NBA player. Valentine from across the river. That was from Illinois, folks. We talked about Baker being an NBA player. He was beyond... NBA range with that shot, Valentine. That was from East St. Louis. That was across the Eads Bridge. And Valentine's fun to watch, too. At 28 on the heels of Miss Baker. Three for three answer. It's the biggest shots when you need him the most. He goes, okay, I'll answer the three. He's 44 and two as a starter, Ron Baker. 44 and two. Tom Brady's not even that good. Uh, he, 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 Manning. he wins an in-season tournament MVP early in the year and then got a little banged up. He was hurt for a number of games. He's now back healthy. We talk about Scott City. He's really from Utica. If you really want to get it going deeper, his dad grew up in Utica for the Fighting Dragons. And his uncle, who lives two houses from me in the subdivision, had 50-plus in a game for the Utica Dragons. Mitch. I got no idea where Utica is and the fact that you know they're the Dragons I, I, I bow to you well you, everybody knows who the Shockers are number two in the country for a 32nd consecutive win what a year what a team NBD tickets to make a date with champions Wichita State headed for a one seed Kansas is a two seed playing in this building Kansas State could be an 8-9 in that same pod. Hmm. That could be the, that could be the just priciest the, ticket. The state of Missouri or the state of Kansas? Well, it would become Kansas real fast. <laughs> and there's another team. Creighton Blue Jays would be a three seat somewhere on Valentine. What a day. What a game. What a tournament. At 61 points. In a matter of about 20 hours for this kid. Just Johnny on the spot. Talk about a guy who blue collar all the way. We've talked about it before. 
I don't think the average fan understands how hard you have to work to score 20 points, let alone to score 20 points against a great defensive team like Wichita State. And make it 31 is what he's got today. It is the sixth time D.J. Ballantyne's been over 30 points this season. Finals here of Arch Madness. Make plans to attend next week's women's tournament. It'll be tournament it'll be in St. Charles, March 13 to 16. For more information, go to St. Charles. Dot com. Valentine last night, 9 of 19, 30 points. Today, 10 of 20, 31 points against arguably the nation's best defensive team. Yeah, DJ Valentine, you're good. And yes, Evansville's got a chance to be pretty good next year, if not really good. They'll find that second and third score. Gideus looks like he's developing into one of the better big players in this conference. But there's that wing player that they got to find. Either a stretch four, like a Nate Bus of Northern Iowa, or a power four, like one of these Wichita State guys, but or preferably both. If you get that with this team right now, with what they've got, look out for the Purple Aces. The future's very bright. Mm -hmm. Marty Simmons, outstanding job, his staff, and bringing in an outstanding freshman class and developing. The freshman from a year ago, Valentine and Gideon. You start winning battles in Cleveland to get a Dwayne Gibson. And you develop players like the Scottishes. That's how you can challenge eventually Wichita State, but not today. And John Robert Simon gets his chance to play for the Shockers right now. Wessel scored early. As the Shocks can unleash the JVs now. Darrell Green is out there as well. This is Zach Bush. He started at Washburn in Division II. Good from Goddard on the west side of the Wichita Metro. These guys are impressive. I want to ask you, are they better than last year's team? That's the question I get a lot. I think they are. I think they're better than last year. They most certainly are. And the reason being... Van Vliet has taken this team a notch up from the point guard position, and they play with that confident resolve that nothing, nothing frustrates them. Nothing gets them out of kilter. And some would say, well, let's go ahead and ask now our players of the game. It's a presentation of Coventry Healthcare and Aetna Company. Visit CoventryHealthcare.com for more information. Health, wellness, Coventry Healthcare. Valentine shows you why he was first team all conference. He was efficient offensively today. Outstanding effort in these two games. And you know, two more years. Purple Ace fans enjoy him. Valley's gonna enjoy him. You know, people say Carl Hart last year was a guy they could throw it into and finish, and maybe they don't have that as much with Carter, Lou Field, and Colby. But I think the committee of those guys, you mentioned it, fouls to give, power in there, and their perimeter game. Can they win it all? That's the other question, I should say. Can they get back to the Final Four? And two, can they win the whole shooting match? Well, you win tournament games with great guard play. They have two tremendous offensive guards who can both play the point, Van Vliet and Baker, and then you throw in Cotton, who has been on fire over the last nine games. I mean, you got three guys that can get you 20 points, and when you get guard, great guard play, you can win tournament games. The other thing is they defend, and they defend every night. And they have this guy every night, the player of the game by Coventry Healthcare for the Shocks, Fred Van Vliet. It's the little things that the average fan doesn't see. Picking up a teammate, hitting an open shot, never making a mistake. Quick hands on the defensive end. Mitch, I got to ask you, Fred Van Vliet, player of the year, best point guard to have played in the Valley? Well, I've covered this league almost 20 years, and I think of the guys, Joel Tatum at Southern Illinois, Ryan Sears played in this league. Off the top of my head, nobody's done what this kid has done. Because the league has not had the best point guard in the country. They've had great ones and some of the best. This kid is the best. I'll put him up against anybody in the nation. Fred Van Vliet, 